Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about things to know before applying to Tulane. So get ready. Sydney. Hey guys, it's Maggie's Movies. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about things to know before applying to Tulane. If you are new here or you didn't know, I go to Tulane University in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I love my school, and people seem to be interested in my videos about my school, so here we go. Um, also, I am trying to get to 100 subscribers by Christmas, so please subscribe if you're watching this um, and like the video and comment and all that jazz. Okay, so this sounds cheesy, but if there's one thing the pandemic has shown me, it's that Tulane is a school that cares about its students. They care a lot about you, so know that you're applying to a school that you that cares about you, but they also want you to care about them. So when applying to Tulane, demonstrate interest, which if you didn't know, it's just like going on tours, um, participating in like events they have for applicants and things like that, to show that you are seriously considering the school and that way that you're giving them the same care that they want to give you. So, you know, there's a lot of essays you have to do when you're applying to college, and you may not want to do an extra essay, but kind of going along with the idea of demonstrated interest, you do have to do the optional why Tulane essay, which is basically an essay where you write why you want to go to Tulane. And I know every college does this because colleges are obsessed with themselves. But genuinely, I think there's a lot of cool things to write about Tulane. Um, and if you're having any issues with like what to write about or that essay, check out my Why Tulane video where I read my Why Tulane essay and you can get some ideas from that. Also, just comment down below and you can literally email me your essay and I will help you and edit it and tell you what you need to do. Um, okay. So I visited Tulane's campus in February or April of 2019 and it was great weather. It was amazing weather. It was so like just really, really nice, really chill, not too hot, not too cold. It was really good. Like August through September, it's going to be hot. It's going to be hot, hot, like humid, like you're dripping, like sweat is dripping everywhere. It's in your mask. It's on your back. It's in your clothes. Um, it's hot. It's real hot. And if you can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen. <laughs> but I didn't expect it. And now that it's gotten cooler, it's so, so, so nice. Um, and it is something you get used to, I think. But just know they're not exaggerating. It's not a lie. It's, it's the truth. Um, it's not me. One thing I didn't really consider, I knew but I didn't consider it when I was applying to Tulane, was Tulane is a party school. And like, I'm going here during COVID and I feel the party school vibes. Um, so like people will go out a lot. Like there's, like to be honest, there is like an emphasis on drinking, like as a social activity. That's like, if you're not doing something along those lines on a Friday night, then like, are you doing anything at all? Not saying everyone is like that and there's not like a pressure or at least not a conscious pressure on the part of the other people going to school here, but it definitely is like ingrained in the um, system. That being said, at the same time, people are not surface level. Like people here are very passionate about serious issues and they would like to debate. They care about school. They care about like social issues and all of that. Party school might be a plus for you. Um, but I also would say like, at any party school, you can find your place without wanting to party all the time. And then like, if you want to party some, party some, you know? Who knows if this will be a thing um, in the near future? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> but the COVID procedures at Tulane have been stellar. 
They have been amazing. We are on campus. We are getting some in-person classes. They're all mostly hybrid. It's just amazing. Um, and it really shows how much Tulane cares for their students' experiences, but also their safety and the safety of the community we're in because New Orleans is such an amazing and unique place. If you want to know more about what Tulane has done with COVID, check out my Tulane COVID procedures video. It's very informative, very detailed, um, and gets down to the nitty gritty. If you're doing any research on Tulane, you probably know Tulane is a private institution and it costs a lot of money. It costs a lot, a lot, a lot of money. It costs a lot of money. They do really, they do give really good merit scholarships and like financial aid here, I would say. But even with that, it is still very expensive for the average U.S. citizen. But there are still, if if you visit Tulane or feel that Tulane is like a right fit for you, there's still a lot of ways you can get here. Like they offer three full ride, like full tuition scholarships, not full ride, I should say. And those are very hard to get into, but like you can get those. And then there is a, I think a scholarship for marching band and a scholarship for a partial scholarship and another partial, sco partial scholarship for community service. And I applied for all the full tuition ones and the community service partial one. I did not get any of them. <laughs> but I was a finalist for the Paul Tulane Scholarship, which is a writing um, based award. And they did add $1,000 onto my scholarship, which is nice, I would say. I'm also a work study student at Tulane. And while I did have to find my own job, like work study doesn't set it up for you, it makes it easier for me to get hired because the government helps pay part of my salary and it helps me pay for college. That is the difference between work study and just getting a normal job is it is an incentive to hire you because the government will help pay your paycheck. Um, and that has been a really nice experience. It's very possible to get a job with something relevant to things you're passionate about. So I definitely recommend that if you qualify for work study. As you probably know, New Orleans is an amazing city. It has so much culture, so much history. It's like just a whole nother world. Um, and it's so nice to be on a campus that is immersed in this culture. But at the same time, like the campus is its own culture. Like the majority of people who go to Tulane are not from New Orleans. They are from like nearby cities or cities from like California, New York, Georgia, Alabama. You need to go out and take advantage of the city that you're going to school in. So getting out on the weekends, getting out on like a Friday night, going and exploring like the quarter and different parts of New Orleans. If you're wondering what I normally do on a weekend, I have my NOLA weekend video. The dining hall, commons, Tulane commons. Um, it's pretty good for a college dining hall. I will give it that. The meat is usually seasoned. Um, it's not always dry. It has a lot of good qualities, but you are going to get tired of the commons food. And I do not recommend getting the unlimited dining plan. I don't. Cause you're gonna get real tired of chicken and vegetables. I'll say that. But it's a nice program to be in because it's super easy to double major, even triple major, or double major and double minor, double major, single minor, like things like that. It is made very easy at Tulane and I'm very grateful for it because it's very much a norm. Most people have more than one major and that's nice because it's what you wanna do. And it's just, the more bases you cover, the easier it's going to be when once you're out of college and trying to find a job in this world we live in. So Tulane has created an atmosphere of service and respect for the community around us. And while that is not always 100% um, shown by the actions of their students, especially with COVID and other events and things, like there's a service, two service learning requirements here at Tulane. You have to do some service. It's like ingrained into the curriculum to graduate. And if you're wondering like, do we have to do this service? Why do we have to do it? Tulane's probably not for you because Tulane's motto is not for oneself, but for one's own. So helping the people around you. Um, and if that is not something you're interested in, not something you wanna do as part of your college experience, 
awkward, but also don't probably don't apply to Tulane. Um, and then also coming into Tulane, I would say like be conscious of how your actions affect others because a lot of the employees on Tulane's campus are from the New Orleans community and Tulane is a very wealthy campus. So being as polite as you can to those workers, cleaning up after yourself, being conscious of what you're doing and how it is affecting other people is imperative to keeping Tulane in, I don't want to say good standing because it's not like an image thing, but in cooperation with the community around us, in appreciation of the city of New Orleans. Um, so got real serious there for a second. If you liked this video about Tulane, I have a whole Tulane playlist and I'm probably gonna make more. So if you have a video you wanna see, comment down below. If you wanna talk to me about your application, comment down below. I will do it. I have already helped a girl edit her paper, um, her Why Tulane essay. So I'm here to help. I'll be a resource for you as to the best of my ability. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, turn on post notifications. Turn around, sit down, touch your head. Anyways, for now, this has been Maggie's Movies. See you next time.